everyone loves the aromatic fragrance of lavender. Did you know that it's also known as the universal oil or the mother of all the oils in the essential oil kingdom? To many essential oil users, lavender is known as the Swiss Army knife of essential oils. Lavender is the most versatile of all the essential oils. Lavender has been used for thousands of years and was used as one of man's first medicine. We can thank French scientist René Gattafossi, who is well known for his research and renewing interest and use of lavender. Gattafossi had his own profound experience with lavender through a terrible accident where he was burned while working in his laboratory in 1910. At that time, Gattafossi had been studying essential oils in earnest for three years. He knew the healing power of lavender and immediately resorted to the mother of all the essential oils. It's important to note here that if lavender essential oil is not therapeutic grade, it can actually cause more damage to an injured area due to solvents or chemicals that may be additives without being labeled as such. It must be therapeutic grade essential oil and I highly recommend Young Living therapeutic grade essential oils. I'd like to give you some fun and easy tips for different ways you can use lavender. Lavender is most commonly known for its calming effects on the nervous system. One way to use lavender to calm the nervous system is to put a few drops in your hand and gently rub a little on each temple. You can rub your palms together and take several deep breaths. You may notice as you are breathing deeply and fully, you may start to feel the mind and body calming and relaxing from this wonderful aromatic. The nice thing about lavender is that you can apply therapeutic grade lavender oil directly on the skin undiluted. I like to rub it on the bottoms of my feet. Essential oils are absorbed rapidly through the bottoms of the feet. Applying lavender on the feet is another effective way to take in the relaxing and balancing benefits of lavender, especially after a stressful day or to help with sleep. Do you ever have a headache and wonder what you can do naturally to help mitigate the pain? Lavender is an option. Again, simply place a few drops of lavender in the palm of your hand, gently rub around the temples, forehead, and base of the skull, and you can even massage it into the scalp. Take several deep breaths from the oil on your hands and allow some time for the lavender essential oil to begin its soothing benefits for your headache. You can take a relaxing bath with lavender. A simple recipe is two cups of Epsom salts mixed with eight to 10 drops of lavender oil. It's really a personal choice as to how much lavender you would like to add to the Epsom salts. I usually add about 10 drops. Turn on the bath water and place the Epsom salts with the lavender oil under the running water. Since essential oils are fat soluble, they will sit on top of the water unless they are mixed with salts, baking soda, or milk as dispersing agents. Therapeutic grade lavender is highly regarded for the skin. As I mentioned earlier, Rene Gattafossi has proven the powerful effects of the healing power of lavender on his burn. When I get a cut or a scratch, I simply place one or two drops on the scratch two to three times a day until the cut is healed. You can also make a simple spritz, simply using two to four ounces of water and three to 10 drops of lavender oil. Shake the bottle before each use. Again, it is a personal choice on how much lavender to add to the spritz. You may spray it on your pillow and bedding to create a relaxing aroma to help you sleep. You may also spray it directly on your skin for soothing benefits or to cool off in the summer. It's a great way to soothe the sunburn or help with hot flashes. I also like to use the lavender spritz on my cats when they get a little stressed out. I simply spritz a little on my hands and gently run my hands along their fur from head to tail. Frequently, they will start to purr and enjoy the relaxing benefits of lavender as they begin to settle down. A little lavender spritz on the kitties before going outside helps keep fleas off. Fleas are repelled by lavender. Lavender spritz for your beloved pets is a much healthier option than chemicals that can be very toxic. Again, I can't stress enough how important it is to use therapeutic grade essential lavender. Animals, and cats in particular, 
are very sensitive to chemicals and anything but therapeutic grade essential oils could be very harmful to your beloved pets. Have you ever been bitten by a mosquito and couldn't stop itching? A drop of lavender quickly takes care of the itching and soothes the bite at the same time. Moths and insects can be very pesky when they get into your linen closet or chest of clothes. One way to combat these little critters is to place a few drops of lavender oil on a cotton ball and place it in your linen closet to scent linens and repel moths and insects. You can sweeten your laundry by placing a few drops of lavender oil on a wet cloth and throw into the dryer to deodorize and freshen your laundry. These are simply a few suggestions for how you can incorporate lavender into your daily life. Now you can see why lavender is easily called the mother of all the essential oils. Lavender is in the Young Living Everyday Oils Kit, also known as the Healthy First Aid Kit. The fragrance of lavender is calming, relaxing, and balancing, both physically and emotionally. Whenever in doubt of which oil to use, it's a pretty safe bet lavender will be beneficial. I never leave home without a bottle of lavender in my purse. One never knows when the good old Swiss Army knife of the essential oil kingdom may be needed. So have fun trying some of these simple suggestions to broaden your experience with lavender essential oil and add a healthy option to your first aid kit. For more information, please visit our website.